Good morning, parents and my dear students. In today's English literature class, we will do chapter 6, The Great Escape, from your Gul Moha book. This story is about Dorothy, who gets swept away by a storm and she wishes to go back home. Along her journey, she meets the cowardly lion who wants courage. Next, she meets the tin woodman. He wants a heart. She also meets a scarecrow who wants a brain. What is a scarecrow, children? A scarecrow is made out of a wooden stick frame straw and old clothes and made to look like a human to frighten away birds from farms. So children, open your books to page 44 and let's read. Dorothy, a young girl, gets carried away from a home by a cyclone. What is a cyclone? A storm with strong winds. She reaches the magical land of Oz. Magical means full of magic. Oz is an imaginary place where she meets the cowardly lion. Cowardly, not brave. The tin woodman and the scarecrow. Dorothy wishes to go back home. The lion wants courage. The woodman wants a heart. And the scarecrow wants a brain. They decide to travel to the Emerald City to meet the great wizard of Oz. Wizard is a man with magic powers and ask for his help. Along the way, they meet strange new people and have many different adventures. So let's see now what adventures they have. Dorothy, the cowardly lion, the tin woodman and the scarecrow were walking through the forest when they saw a ditch before them. What is a ditch? It's a long narrow hole dug at the side of a field. It was a very wide and deep ditch with big pointed rocks at the bottom and steep sides. What shall we do? asked Dorothy. Sadly, we must try and jump over it, said the scarecrow. I think I could jump over it, said the lion, after looking at the ditch carefully. Then you can carry us all over your back, one at a time, said the scarecrow. I am terribly afraid of falling myself said the lion, but we must try. I will go first. If you cannot jump over the ditch and fall, it would not hurt me at all, said the scarecrow. The scarecrow sat upon the lion's back. Then, with a great spring, the lion shot through the air and landed safely on the other side. Spring means jump. Shot through the air means went up with great speed. Landed, came down. They were all very pleased to see how easily he did it. One by one, the lion carried all of them and landed safely on the other side. So in this part of the story, what was their first problem? They 
came to a deep and wide ditch. And who helped them to cross this deep and wide ditch? The cowardly lion helped them. And how did he help them? He carried each one on his back and jumped across the ditch and landed safely on the other side. After resting for a while, they started walking along the road. Soon, they heard strange noises from deep inside the forest. The lion whispered, That must be the Kalidas. They live in this part of the country. What are Kalidas? asked Dorothy. They are frightening beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers, replied the lion, with long and sharp claws. I'm very afraid of the Kalidas. They came to another ditch across the road, but this one was so broad and deep that the lion knew he could not jump over it. So they sat down to think what they could do. The scarecrow said, This tree is very close to the ditch. If the tin woodman can chop it down, it will fall to the other side and we can walk over it easily. That is a great idea, said the lion. One would almost think you had brains instead of straw. The woodman set to work and chopped the tree. Then the lion put his front legs against the tree and pushed it. Slowly the tree tipped and fell with a crash across the ditch with its top branches on the other side. In this part of the lesson, we see that they come across two more problems. From deep inside the forest, they heard strange noises from the Kalidans. What are Kalidans? Frightening beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers. And the second problem was they came to a broader and deeper ditch. How did they cross it? The woodman chopped down a tree and made a bridge over the ditch. Now let's see what happens in the next part. They had just started to cross the bridge when a sharp growl made them all look up. They saw two great beasts with bodies like bears and heads like tigers running towards them. The Kalidas, said the lion, beginning to shake with fear. Stand close behind me. I will fight them as long as I am alive. The lion turned to face the Kalidas and gave out a loud and terrible roar out of fright. Dorothy screamed and the scarecrow fell over backwards. The Kalidas stopped and looked at the lion in surprise. But seeing they were bigger than him, they rushed forward and began to cross the bridge. Hurry up, said the scarecrow. Let us cross over. The four of them crossed the bridge as quickly as they could. 
Once they reach the other side, the scarecrow asked the tin woodman to chop away the end of the tree that was on their side of the ditch. Quick, said the scarecrow. The woodman began to use his axe at once. The Kalidas had almost crossed the bridge when the tree fell with a crash into the ditch along with the beasts. They had escaped the dangerous Kalidas. They were safe and relieved now. Well, said the lion, drawing a long breath of relief. Those creatures frightened me so badly that my heart is still beating. Ah, oh, said the tin woodman sadly. I wish I had a heart to beat. The four travelers kept walking until they could see a yellow brick road and green meadows on the other side of a broad river. Soon they saw a delightful country before them. Now that was an imaginary story about how Dorothy and her friends used their skills to escape a dangerous situation and travel to Emerald City to meet the Wizard of Oz and ask for his help. They face many difficulties along the journey, but overcome them all. The lion shows his courage, the tin woodman his kindness, and the scarecrow his good sense. All these abilities help them in their great escape from the dangerous Kalidas. Thank you. Worksheets related to this chapter will be uploaded on your school website. Parents, please help your children to complete them. Thank you. Have a good day.